Hey, I'm Marty Johnson from 3D Systems, and I'd like to introduce you to a training module system we put together for the figure four line of printers here at 3D Systems. At 3D Systems here, I'm a technical fellow involved with print process, and what that means is I'm involved with help creating the software, the firmware, the hardware, and the materials, and integrating how these work to build parts on your figure four system. What we've done is we've taken the collective knowledge of my print process team and our advanced applications team, and we've put together a series of modules to train you to get to success as fast as possible with your figure four printer. What that means is we've looked a little bit at some of the safety and overview, and you've got modules for that, but primarily what we're looking for is to give you the tools that we use in our lab to make us successful, to give you those tools so that you're successful in the things that you're doing and printing for the parts for your intent and parts for your applications. So what we've done is gone in and create small modules for setting up your part, for looking at your part application and intent, and setting that up relative to the orientation that supports what's the best way to get to success as fast as possible. So we'll go through these modules and hopefully you can come to success the way do, we do in our labs and that we can pull that together. And I hear great success stories from you, each and every one of you as soon as possible. I do want to welcome everybody and, and so my name is Marty Johnson. I'm a technical fellow at 3D Systems. Um, my primary focus is print process. I've been at 3D Systems since 2007. I came here as a lead systems engineer in print process on our first two figure four printers that we did back from 2007 to 2011. We, uh, I do lead print process on all of our figure four printers. Uh, it was a pretty big team that spread out at, at some of our different sites and a great team of people there that um, were able to do this work together. I'm also, in the past, was a lead technical expert in print process on all of our plastic jet printing. For those that don't know what print process is, just to be sure that's clear, it's a, it includes systems integration is, is the best way to look at that. And it's a creation of the printing processes by combining the hardware firmware and software capabilities. So we create a lot of the algorithms that we use in 3D Sprint that are fed into the hardware that works with the firmware so that we can create the best way to get the best printed parts in your printer. And one of the things we're gonna focus on here today is um, <clears throat> the training modules and the training program for figure four and, and we've taken upon ourselves to redo this but we'll be using modules for various topics. So each training session is gonna consist of one or more modules. These will also be available online at the Info Center. They will be consistent with the 3D Academy training, as well as hardware installation training, and these also should align with your user guide. So we're trying to make sure that everything is streamlined and consistent, that we have consistent messaging from site to site and function to function. The training modules that we have planned as of today, our safety training and then figure four basic theory of operation, we will go through both of those today. Uh, Friday, we will be doing basic training on 3D Sprint toolbox and basic part setup. And then there will be basic training for 3D Sprint intermediate toolbox and part setup. And I really encourage you to be sure to try to be at, those, at that particular training because there's a lot of information in 3D Sprint and we want to be sure that everybody has the complete toolbox for what they need to do. We will be adding in in the future advanced training for its, uh, it's an advanced toolbox and parts set up, and that's looking at fitted parts. How do you set fitted parts up together? There'll be production training, which is people that are doing a lot of repetitive printing. If you're looking at a production unit, what are some best practices and how to set that up? There will be a post-process training and eventually module eight will be materials and we'll go through a lot of information on the materials and, and be able to explain that, what materials are good for what application and how we can spread that out so that people understand and, and choose the right tool for the right job. 